music with Miss Ethier. Yes, it's gonna be real fun. We will work together now, one for all and all for one. You will learn to dance and sing. La 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 la. Oh, what joy the music brings. So get ready. I am so excited to sing one of my favorite songs with you called Puff the Magic Dragon. It goes like this. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called hanali oh puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow when e'er they came. Pirate ships would lower their flag when Puff roared out his name. Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. A dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and boys. Painted wings and giant's rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And Puff, that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow. Green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Nice job, friends. Alrighty friends, I have a really fun snowman song for you and really what I kind of want to do for you first is I want to just show you how it works and as you're watching and listening to the song, I want you to try and notice what happens to the notes as the snowman gets built and then when the snowman melts, how do the notes of the song change? Okay, so first we're just going to listen and experience the song and then we'll probably try it a second time and you'll be able to sing along. Okie dokie. So here comes, I have a little snowman. I have a little snowman, he is so fat and round. I make him from a snowball, I roll him on the ground. I give him eyes and nose and mouth a nice warm stuff of red. Oh, 
Did you notice what happened to the notes? Were you following them? So, as we built the snowman, the notes went from the very bottom of the music and they kept getting higher because the snowman was get, getting built, right? It was going from nothing to all of a sudden a snowman. So with every new step, the notes went up a step, didn't they? Kind of like our solfeggio scale that we've been talking about for my second graders. First graders and kindergartners, don't worry if you don't know what that is. Um, but the notes are moving up as the snowman gets built. But then did you notice what happened when the snowman melted? The notes went down. Do, 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 do. They went down because the snowman was melting. I'm melting. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I had to be silly there for a second. So now that you have an idea of how it works, I wonder if we can try and sing it together. Now friends, if you don't know every single word to the song, that's okay. But I encourage you at home to try and move with the music. So at the bot or at the beginning, your hand should be down here and then as each new step comes, can you move your hand up with the music and then as the snowman melts, can you melt down with your hands like that? Okay, so I'm going to actually flip back to the beginning here. Yeah, da, da, da. And the song happens two different times, okay? Let's try it. So we're starting at the bottom. Here it comes. I have a little snowman. He is so fat and round. I made him from a snowball. I rolled up on the ground. I gave him eyes, a nose, a mouth, a nose, a nose, a nose, a nose, a nose, a the fate of every snowman though, isn't it? Except for Olaf. He never seems to really melt, does he? Hmm. Must be those Elsa powers, right? Um, okay, so nice singing everybody. I like how we practiced our movement of up, upward notes, and downward notes. Way to go everybody! Alrighty friends, it is time to get up and move, but today I thought it would be fun. We're going to do our beanbag boogie, but of course you're not in my classroom right now, so you don't have a beanbag. So we're going to use stuffies like we have in the past, but today I'm using my cute little winter chip. See how he's got his little scarf and little hat on? And I invite you to use whatever kind of fun holiday, wintry, stuffy you have, or whatever you have to use for the beanbag boogie. Are you ready? Oh yeah, people. On your head. Uh oh, this is gonna be tricky today. On your shoulder, can you do it? Uh -oh. And can you move and groove too? <laughs> what? Elbow. 
Oh yeah. We're getting groovy, people. And boogie. Jump with your stuffy. Oh yeah, people. Let's listen. On your forehead, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're doing great. On your finger, uh-oh. Let's see. well oops on your ear <laughs> chip is not working well okay there we go in your oh yeah we're shaking people Oh yeah. Now let's listen again, ready? On your tummy. Oh yeah, people. You got this. On your back, ready? This is hard. Ah! Ooh, I think he's gonna fall. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, this one's hard. On your knee. Uh oh. Uh oh. That did not go well. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> In your hand. Stomp those feet. Oh yeah. Woo! Nice work, everybody. Hello everybody. So we've been getting really good at doing uh, these kind of rhythm creations, right? We had pumpkin rhythms, then we had turkey rhythms. Now of course we're gonna have winter rhythms because we are this close to winter break everybody. Whoop, whoop. So I put together some basic little winter rhythms that you're gonna be able to combine together to create your own winter rhythm. So let's kind of talk about each of these different pieces we have, okay? We have TTTT, which is throwing snowballs. We have snowman, which is a ta and a ta, right? We have ah, really cold, so we go brr which is two beats long, it's our toe. Here we have winter break, ti ti ta, which we're all very excited for, aren't we? And here we have hot chocolate, which is a ta and a ti ti. Now, if you notice, all of these different elements are all two beats of space. So later on when I explain the eight beat rhythm that you should create, Really, all you're doing is picking four of these pieces, or you could do four of the same if you want. But what I'm saying is you only have room in your eight beats of time for four elements. So you can pick whichever ones you want, mix and match. You could do burr, burr, snowman, snowman. It's really your choice, however you wanna do it. But it's important to note 
Each of these is two beats of sound, okay? Um, what else do I need to tell you? Should we just kind of make one up? Okay, let's do, we're gonna do winter break, burr, no, winter break, hot chocolate, burr, snowman, ready? Here you go, winter break, hot chocolate, burr, snowman. See how that works? Let's do a different one. Let's do throwing snowballs, snowman, throwing snowballs, burr, ready? Throwing snowballs, snowman. Throwing snowballs, brr. See how it works? You can really do it any way you want to. You just mix and match four elements, okay? Now, um, you'll get an explanation later of what your assignment is for this week, but I'll be seeing some winter rhythms. Nice job, everybody. Alrighty, folks, so earlier I showed you some fun winter rhythms that we can do, and now for your assignment this week, you get to create your own winter rhythm, kind of like we have with our pumpkin rhythms and our turkey rhythms, same kind of idea, right? So to do that, we want our rhythm to be eight beats long. A beat is one beat of sound, right? So we want eight beats total. So I'm gonna take my paper, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So you can see I've got eight lines on my paper and then I'll be putting notes above each one of those or most of them. It depends on what you choose, right? So remember how there were so many different options that you could pick, there was throwing snowballs, which was all TTs. We had snowman, which was ta-ta. We had winter break, ti-ti-ta. We had hot chocolate, ta ti, ti And we had burr, which was the um, to. So, we talked about how each of those rhythm choices each one is worth two beats. So for instance, if I put um, snow, boy, my marker's not working very well anymore, but that's okay. Snowman. Like this, see? Snowman. It takes up two beats of my eight beats. So you're only going to get to choose four things. And again, you can mix and match them however you want. You could do snowman, snowman, uh, brr, brr, totally up to you. Now, one reminder, if you do use the brr one, it looks like this if you choose to use it because it's one note, but that note gets stretched across the second um line across the second beat there. So we would have snow, uh, snowman, burr is how that would read. And then I don't know what I want to do. Ah, I'll do um, hot chocolate because that sounds really yummy right now. Hot chocolate. Okay, so there's my hot chocolate. And then I'll do, uh, I don't know, throwing snowballs. Ooh, now I have a question for you that you won't really be able to answer because you're not really in my room, but I'll pretend like you are. Uh, throwing snowballs. Okay, so my question is this. We have five different rhythm options that I came up with for you. If you only have these eight beats of sound, can you fit all five options on here? No. So there's no way I could do all five of them and still have it be just those eight beats. So you're only gonna choose four rhythms to do, okay? But this is one example of what it could like look like. It's totally up to you, okay? So you can send me a picture of what you make you could send me a little performance if you are able to um, send a video of you doing it, clapping it, speaking it. You could um, 
let's see, for my Google Classroom folks that might not be able to send pictures as easily, you could always type it into your private comment too. You could type in throwing snowballs or snowman. You can type in those words and I'll still know what your rhythm was supposed to be. Okay, so there's lots of options to share it. I'm excited to see your winter rhythms, everybody. Bye-bye.